I will not perjure myself under the orders of a judge. This has never before been done in U.S. history. It's a struggle session right out of communist China or South Africa. This is serious tyranny. Regardless of what you think about me or how the media has twisted what I said over the years, I've apologized for past things I said that hurt people's feelings. I apologized years ago. They have misrepresented what I've said and done. There's a whole industry of lawyers around these families that have sued Remington and won $73 million and won all these other lawsuits. And they simply now are not just coming for the Second Amendment, but the First Amendment. This is a travesty of justice, and this judge is a tyrant. This judge is ordering me to say that I'm guilty and to say that I'm a liar. None of that's true. I was not wrong about Sandy Hook on purpose. I questioned it, just like Jesse Smollett, just like WMDs in Iraq, just like Gulf of Tonkin. There have been a lot of staged events in history, like WMDs in Iraq, and I question every major event that we see. But I wasn't the first person to question Sandy Hook. He's absolutely right. He's not the only person or the first person that ever questioned it. I questioned it on my own volition, whatever that word is. Nobody told me to question it. I questioned it because of what I saw. I watched every single interview with every single parent that gave an interview. I didn't just watch it once. I watched them all several times. Why? I don't know. It wasn't fun. It was... It was hard. Because I know it sounds crazy to question something like that, but it sounds crazy for every person that lost a child to not shed one tear. There was lots of crying sounds. No liquid. We gotta get, you know, let's have a big bonfire and burn everything. Um, but let's burn all these damn guns. When we talk ban and confiscate, ban and confiscate, ban and confiscate, it's so much bigger than a political debate. This is Ben. He has a brother named Nate. This is Dylan. He was very pure, um, possibly uh, because of his age, he was six, and possibly because he was autistic. Careers, this is about people, and this is about making change to save people. And it's important to remember the people that you are doing this for. I was just kept thinking, I'm coming for you, honey, I'm coming. <laughs> and uh, I didn't. There was still hope oh, that because the children were hiding. 20 children were killed. that my, my little girl who's so full of life and who wants a horse so badly and who's gonna get cowgirl boots for Christmas isn't coming home. Her nicknames and all the things that she loved, the cupcakes, places we've been together. ice cream cones, lighthouses, seagulls, and we were la saying she is laughing at us right now because our artwork was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> had so much color, color and it was grace it was so grace you were able to give her things as well yes we brought her her favorite um pocketbook and we had seashells and flip-flops and sunglasses and she loved to cook we had a frying pan and she loved music she has uh Notes. taylor taylor swift christmas song in there she has our new york yank she has her dad's new york yankee <laughs> hat we took we had peace when we left last night did she or teacher seem nervous? No. She just kept her calm and told you a story. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which one? Um, she read us The Nutcracker oh. and another book that was about Christmas. I love The Nutcracker. Do you love it? Yes. I'm afraid of the Mouse King. Yeah, come on, he's a little scary, let's be honest, right? It's not just me. You okay? I didn't even check you out. You all right? Yeah. What happened here in the front? <laughs> Did you have teeth there this morning when you went there? No. Oh, good. All right, then you know that you're missing all the teeth. <laughs> you're aware of that? She's in better shape with Santa after what she lived through today. 